Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here. Welcome to episode 2 of our Linux Lite series where we use Linux Lite on a 2010 class Core 2 Duo PC as our daily driver. So, the next thing we've got to do um, after installing all the updates is install our firewall. So, if we go to settings and we've got firewall and firewall config enable or disable firewall so if we click on that pop in our system password and we can left click on enable firewall unmasking the firewall and this will just give our pc an extra layer of protection from the internet we can click on show the status and it's telling us that the firewall is now currently enabled okay so we've given our computer its own unique address we've told it which dns server to use when it's ever it's talking to the internet which in my case is cloudflare the next thing that we need to do on the welcome screen is install drivers so let's click on the install drivers button and let's let it go ahead and scan for drivers which may be available that we're currently not using but have access to. Okay, so uh, it's found the NVIDIA 550's um, proprietary tested. And so if we left click on that, left click apply, it should now once we've put our system password in bring down install and configure the genuine nvidia drivers whereas we were using the Navo display driver um, obviously the nvidia proprietary driver will give us much better performance especially when it comes to running games locally now we're not going to be AAA gaming locally but there are many games that we can run locally, which are older games, which will run absolutely fine on this class of PC. And I will do videos on those as we set them up and install them. I'll try and cover as much in this series as I possibly can. But obviously, when I need to do a reboot on the PC, then the video will end. Um because this is installed onto real hardware. It's not a virtual box. It's not a virtual box out on the cloud. This is real bare metal, old school 2010 hardware that in 2025, we are attempting to successfully replace Microsoft Windows 10, get rid of it um, and transition over to Linux Lite version 7, which um, is very Windows-esque in its look and feel and its operation. It should be instantly familiar to anyone who's used and is familiar with using Microsoft Windows 10. Um, <clears throat> the installation could not be more straightforward and logical if the guys and girls over at Linux Lite wanted. So I can't see any immediate barriers to en enter the world of Linux Lite. What I'm trying to say in simple English is if you're a Windows 10 user, hell, you should be able to use and install and set up Linux Lite relatively easily without too much hassle providing your hardware is compatible and again on the Linux Lite website they have a great hardware compatibility guide once you've installed Linux Lite onto your computer you can indeed submit a full copy of your hardware specs to Linux Lite which may well help others in the future if they have a similar class of PC to yours and are thinking of installing and running Linux Lite on their hardware, then 
by inspecting your hardware, your configuration, your setup, they can say, well, I've pretty much got exactly the same PC and this person is running Linux Lite really, really well. Um, and I can see that because they've submitted a copy of their hardware. We'll be doing that in a future video um, and we'll upload that data and that information to Linux Lite in an effort to try and help other users um, and try and give them the confidence that if they've got like hardware, well, they should have a great, great time on Linux Lite. Okay, we've now finished installing the NVIDIA driver. So I'm going to end the video here uh, because I need to do a reboot. And hopefully we'll see if all has gone well uh, and if it's all worked. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up if you love it. Down if you hated it. I will see you for another wicked Broken Abe's video.